Hi everybody, this is Terrell Talk and I'm Donna Terrell. A few years ago I found Sisters in Suitcases. They have a page on Instagram and the pictures from all over the world are just absolutely phenomenal. The goal of the organization is to convince mainly women of color to travel out of the country. Recently I discovered the originator of Sisters in Suitcases lives in Little Rock. Meet Tamea Walker McClendon. I did a special report that aired on Fox 16 News at 9 that tells you the story about sisters and suitcases, but I wanted to talk with you further because um, I wanted to get a thorough understanding for some other things that you are planning to do. But just for the purposes of right now, tell us what Sisters and Suitcases is. So Sisters and Suitcases is a boutique travel company that we basically curate experiences for women of color. Okay, you curate experiences and you like to call travel to these other countries experiences. Yes. So, but you initially set out to reach young girls. Right now, the, the people who are traveling are women. Yes. But you really wanted to reach young girls. Explain that. So originally, um, I was in Italy, in Sorrento, Italy, traveling for myself, personal travel, and I had a personal experience. My life was really transformed from that experience. And what after that experience, I thought if I had been exposed to international travel at an earlier age, or even as a college student, that that could have changed the trajectory of my life. Mm, how so? Um, I think I would have maybe selected other options for career, for my career, um, sought out jobs in other countries, um, and just been more open and looked at the world from a different perspective. From a different perspective. We're yes. looking at a picture now. This is a group of women who traveled um, with your group, with Sisters and Suitcases, to Paris. Yes. So you've been all over. Yes, I have traveled now to more than 17 plus countries. My goodness. Okay, and, and what's the experience like for the women? Um, for each, well, for them, a lot of them have told me that they've come back and just reflected, and some of them have chosen different career paths for one. Um, their relationships with other women have changed, relationships with uh, looking at the world, looking at the people in the world from a different perspective, and several of them are now doing things, what I call is beginning to live more within their purpose. Okay. And that's what happened to you. Yes. Travel uh, enabled you to live within your purpose. Yes. We talk about that in the story that aired on Fox 16 News at 9. Let's circle back, though, to these young girls. I know that's really in your heart. You really want to reach young girls um, at a time when they're more easily influenced yes. and it could potentially, you know, live a life of travel or live a different life if, if they um, had not traveled. So how do you go back to those girls? How, what are you going to do to reach those girls, which you're not doing quite yet? Right, that's correct. So one of the things that I plan to do in the near future is to first begin to educate them. And so educating them means teaching them why they should even consider traveling. But the first step is to get a passport in their hands. Okay. Because once you get a passport in your hand, you begin to dream. There's something about having a passport that even if you don't go anywhere, you feel like, I have a passport and I could. Yes. That just to know that the possibility of doing it it's there. We, it's there. It's there. And so it's 10 years on that passport. Mm -hmm. So even if they get it in middle school or high school, they still have 10 years before the passport expires to, to make those right. dreams come true. And it's a lot easier to go somewhere once you have that passport in hand instead of, oh, now I got to get a passport, et cetera, et cetera. For some reason, you believe that African American women are less likely to travel out of the country. Is that true? That's correct. Why? Um, just a lot of fears. I think there's a lot of myths um, from the past. Uh, fears based around flying. Um, I, there was one thing that my own personal grandmother used to say to me sometimes. I remember growing up and she would say, that plane may fall out the sky. <laughs> and I would tell her, I said, you know what? When it's your time, it's your time. Yeah. And so I'm just going to take those risks and move with it. And so far, 
It's, it's, it's worked out well. It has worked How many out places well. have you gone to? Um, over 17 countries. That's what you just told me, yes. 17 countries. Yes. So that's that's just absolutely amazing. And we've shown you like these beautiful pictures. All the pictures that you're looking at are just different experiences and travel experiences that the women who have traveled with Sisters and Suitcases mm -hmm. have been on. And even though you're in Little Rock, people from all over the country and the world travel with Sisters and Suitcases. Yes, we've had women travel from more more than 15, 15 states, wow. and um, this year we'll have our first international traveler. Oh my goodness, how exciting yes. for you. All right, well thank you, Tamea, so much for being here. Thank and you. look for my story here on fox16.com. It's a special report that aired on Fox 16 News at 9. It's called, of course, Sisters in Suitcases. Be sure to watch it. That's all for now. See you next time.